Hey guys, welcome back to what you not included, the Spaced Out DLC! My name is Twitchy and we are on the LV426 where we've got six duplicates on this rock and one duplicate over here. Last time we spent almost all our effort working on the solar panels up the top here. This has done us absolute wonders, at least over here on your kill the marsh based rock, uh, asteroid, cluster, whatever you want to call it. We got ourselves a nice power spine running down the back here. It could do with a little bit of refinement, but it's pretty good. But over on turn nano right here, we need to get that spine in place. But that is not the overarching theme for today. No, no, no. Today I want to work on something else. If I come into the research and have a look as soon as it opens up, thanks very much. We can see that we are working on our space program tech here. Yes, that's right. It is time. It is time for us to open up some rockets. So we need to get there I mean, relatively quickly. Over on the other side here, Tanano is doing his business. We're going to leave the, the main sustainable base over here. They're going to be working on their research. We do have Hicks having a bit of a stress problem, but I've taken away all of his, uh, like, go and dig in the, in the bottom of the world where it's all horrible and nasty orders or, or up here where it's super cold. I've taken all those orders off of him, so hopefully he's just going around the fairly nice, oh no, wrong button, fairly nice base that we have here. Oh man, this, this, this totally needs to be made better. But the fairly nice base that we've got here to, to try and keep him, keep his spirits up. I'm just having a look around. Actually, maybe we could, maybe we could improve this a bit. What I actually need to do is go around and play with some of these orders here. Most of these are very, very important, but the thing that I really, really, really want to get underway, of course, is this uh, this power spline up here. I'm not sure that we've got enough materials, but I think we can hit, hit two birds with one stone here. One of the problems that we were having, uh, let's just turn to the gas overlay, is that we've got a bit of carbon dioxide building up here. This is, this is where my boy Honza comes to sleep overnight, uh, and obviously every night carbon dioxide has just been building up so I would like to come through here I'd like to knock down a few uh, tiles on this side and we'll start gonna have a bit of a flow underway perhaps we can even open up these tiles under here and replace one of these with an airflow tile no I'm gonna have to deconstruct it first all right fair enough say hit two birds with one start I'm not I'm not seeing any refined metals uh, even metal ores to be digging with uh, to be building with we, we need some copper where where is their copper just lying around? Let's go and grab these. The majority of it actually appears to be underneath us. Well, I, gu I guess we're going to be carrying on this ladder as well. Fair few jobs to be getting on with, though. Okay, in the race of what's going to happen first, the space program or the power spline being put in, well, the space program managed it. So we're going to come over here. Hey, let's see what's going on. We've got this rocketry tab. We've got a rocket platform. Beautiful, beautiful. Where are we going to put this rocket platform? Maybe up here? May 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 maybe up here. Let's try that rocketry platform. Whenever you scroll too far on the map, you find yourselves having to uh, to redo the placement. I mean, are we going to go up there? I think, we, I think we are going to go all the way up there. It might mean that we have some extra pipe work to do but it's definitely meaning less digging but also look at all this hmm. now we're gonna go with it we're gonna go with the less digging for now still don't have atmosphere suits for people to come up and out the top here i mean they've got polluted oxygen to breathe all micrograms of it i mean because hicks isn't stressful enough anyway he's definitely not having any troubles now the rocket platform's being made out of iron thankfully we found all the iron down here and managed to dig out a whole bunch of it i am still wondering if there's more on this side there's a lot of obsidian but i mean there could be i mean there's still, there's still a little bit down here but look it's like 62 degrees that's it's pretty hot i mean i suppose it's the same temperature here Do we have um a bit of a gradient being set up yeah I'm, I'm kind of okay with it though i'm kind of oh man look at how high it's getting here 40s that, that's fine that's fine mm, i can definitely see me ripping all of this out turning it all into one great big water tank and then moving the oxygen up here somewhere yeah some something like that because we're gonna run out of space soon up here it's gonna flood over the the cool gush uh, cool slush geyser cool gush slizer if you want why not uh and and then it's gonna over pressure and it's not gonna not gonna allow it to to vent any more water we're gonna have big pro big problems then big problems then well no it just means we're not getting as much water as we can out of it and that that's a big problem to me 
Okay, I'm not sure if you guys remember, we've moved the compost down underneath the farms because it was taking far too long for Ripley to run back and forth all the way from the farms to here. Uh, but this has led me with a massive amount of... Oh, wrong button. Nas massive amount of heat to worry about here. And as you can see, I've been trying to deal with it with this uh, radiant pipes here. We've got, we've got a bit of polluted water going around. Turns out we don't have enough polluted water. Uh, but we're picking that up at about 6 degrees, which means that actually there's water of about 6 degrees going into this farm. It's a problem that we've got. It's, it's getting a little bit cold. So I thought we might share out the heat. Uh, but the big problem, the, the, oh, not the big problem, the thing that could potentially be a big problem could be the amount of uh, radiant pipe we've got here. So I'm going to be watching the temperatures very closely, particularly of the farm, because there is an upper limit that we can have this. Let's have a look. The, the uh, bog bucket here can't go above 30, 30 degrees. Uh, what about... Oh, they're all bog buckets. Oh, up here, we're okay, because this is not being fed cold water. Okay. So I need to make sure that it doesn't go above 30. And if it does get close, I'm going to be starting by... Uh changing some of these radiant pipes just for liquid pipes just to stop the transfer going quite so fast i'm, I'm going to try and control the rate of transfer rather than the heat that i've got here i think it's really the only thing that's actually in my control okay we've got a full loop i'm gonna take apart this liquid uh liquid bridge here and see how that works but talking about building and taking apart no we're we're, we're still a little way off now. Okay, our liquid's going in at 18, coming out at 21, and then going across here at 17. What, what, what's happening? How's it getting so cold so quickly? Okay, so it's 20s. 20s are fine. If we can keep below a 20, that would be good. Yeah, this is this is definitely going to spike up too much, right? Oh, that said, temperatures are coming down. Yeah, temperatures are coming down. This might this might work out fine. This might work out fine. I might even be able to get rid of this space heater and just save all the power that's generated up there for the kitchen. Maybe. High stress. Who's got high stress? Hicks. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, you, you're, you're, ah, you're dealing with my water tank. Beautiful. I kind of want to expand it out by digging these four blocks here out, but that can't happen until these blocks are filled. Turns out, not a moment too soon. We could definitely have had a bit of a problem here. I think I'm just going to leave this remaining loop, vestigial loop over here, uh, sharing the sharing the heat out. I, I think that's going to be fine at some point. At some point, we want to try and mix all of these temperatures together. Uh, we could we could have a very nice. Maybe it's a little bit red around the outside, but we could have a nice like green colored base here. That'd be great. Quick check in with uh, Honza. What 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 is it you're actually working at over here? Still still feeding these guys. Okay, fair enough. I suppose they did eat overnight. Yeah. Okay, up to two thousand. Uh, have I put him on an infinite loop? This is a question. This is a question. How long until they eat? And then uh, my boy here is like, ah, oh, let's go do some more. Turns out quite a while. Quite a while. Okay, we've got sandstone on the floor here. Let's grab a ladder, ladder, make out a sandstone across like that. That's going to save a, a few seconds for all of these jobs. Where is he now? Oh, making power. Okay, fair enough. That that that's that's kind of what we're trying to take away from him. Like try and get this job off his plate by putting this power spine in. Also, given this temperature overlay, I am amazed these millwood are growing. What do you mean starvation? What do you mean starvation? So I've noticed he runs a long way for sedimentary rock to fill up the critter feeder here. I'm wondering if it would be better just to fill up a storage bin up here. Maybe. So, so far today, or in fact, as downtime's just been called, for the whole of today, other than making power, tending to the hatch and tending to his farm, Honza managed to do one tile up here and make a delivery to the storage bin. Mm, I think we could probably streamline that a bit. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to move his bed down here as well, like maybe into this corner. Unfortunately, he can't, if we uh, try and dig through that abyss light, he can't go through there. We might need to send someone back. And I think the way to do that, of course, is to check and see if the ro rocket's not been done. Why Why is it unreachable? Is it these? Is, it, it must It must be something like that. Let's uh, Let's grab a copy of the ladder. Uh, I've, I've hit another key somewhere along the line and do that. All right, beautiful. Famous for my keyboard use, you know, famous. I reckon we can get Ripley to have a little uh, little, little mess hall here on her own. 
Uh, we got one, two, three, four, and that wouldn't only be eight. But look, we could go five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then have a whole sixteen with minimum of a uh, minimum of twelve. I, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Some of the other orders I'm going to be laying down is to uh, put a new door up here so we can have Ripley going up and delivering directly up. I mean, eventually, I'd like to get a whole bunch of auto sweepers in here and they filter through to the grill. Yeah, maybe a bunch of farms around a kitchen would be a winner. I don't know. I don't know. Hicks is trapped because no one can do the door. Oh, no, there we go. He's fine. He's fine. That what that extra one block there was just a little bit too much for him to jump over. That's fine. Man, he's, he's really just not having a good time. 92%. It's because his, um, his skills and his morale are, like, equal pegging with each other, which it turns out is not good enough. Uh, or rather, this, this disgusting rock that we're living on is just too depressing for that to, to be sustainable. I suppose keep sending him out to the harsh vacuum of space to uh, build various pieces of material doesn't help either. Okay, it's now no longer uh, unreachable, and also people are on it, but this is uh, Hicks going all the way down to the bottom of the map to pick up the iron. Matt, we really need to work on that storage system. So Honza's average morning consists of first refilling the crit feeder, then going through and de dealing with the farm tiles. Obviously, each one needs a little bit. I'm not sure how much. 25 kilograms of dirt. Uh, then whether the toilet needs turning on or not is a, is a thing. Sorry, cleaning or not is a thing that he needs to take care of. It turns out this morning is disinfecting. Sometimes he just needs to actually clean the proper thing uh, because it's too full or whatever. Uh, that, that That's not happening today, though. Power generation this morning. Beautiful, beautiful. Sometimes that happens later on during the day, but today it is a morning task. A task that we could really do with getting rid of. Of course, if we didn't keep up with it, the cold would encroach upon our crops and we, we would have a very bad time of, uh, of Honza st uh, starving to death. I'm, I'm not about that. I am not about that. Unfortunately, with the space heater draining as much power as it is right now, let's have a look. How much does it actually take on? 400 watt. Oh, no, that's how much it produces. Uh, consumes 120 watts. So uh, only really producing, well, what, 280 watts of power there. That's, uh, that's something that's not really going to fill the battery up very quickly. Uh, and still, not even put a single bit of wire in. This is awkward. Back at your kill, our marshy asteroid. Just in time to watch Hicks finished building the rocket platform here. I actually arrived just before day uh, night time and uh, he got interrupted. But there we go, rocket platform. I have no idea how this works. You can hit the new rocket button, uh, but that that's pretty much all I know. So what, what do we want? We got the carbon dioxide um, engine. We've got a lot of carbon dioxide, so let's do that. We'll make it out of cobalt ore. Brilliant. Beautiful. Solo spacefarer module or orbital cargo. I mean, we're just going to send a person across, I think. That seems like a good plan. Uh, we're also going to build that out of cobalt ore. All right. Beautiful. Is there? Is there any... That, I don't think there's any more we need to do here, but I want to draw your attention to the view interior button. Hmm. And you can, like, change modules and, um, okay, swap modules around, add new module above this one. There's some nice buttons down here. What, what happens if we try to add? Yeah, I didn't think we'd be able to because this is a space cone, a, a, a nose cone, and that, that goes on the front of the rocket, right? Next thing I want to have a look at, yeah, gas, right. We, we need to put carbon dioxide in there. I know, crazy, crazy. I might even break these and replace their liquid lines with gas lines. Can we get this to drain back? Yes. Eventually. Okay. Okay, here Hicks come down to help us out. I need to get all of this area ripped out. All right, buddy. It was good to see you. Bye. Okay, this is going to be a long haul. We've got a long, long way to go. Hopefully, this ladder goes the majority of the distance. It does. That's cool. Oh, look. We can even just kind of like jump over here. Follow this line up. Oh, yeah. We go straight up underneath into the rocket. I don't think I want to break this seal, though. So, we'll go out this way. Follow the ladder up. Okay, that's a long line. That's a long line. But I think we can do it. Also, gas element sensor. Very important. Oh, just over i've just noticed it look sage hatchling nice this is because we're feeding them uh dirt that that's that's cool also this this definitely needs a tidy up this whole place needs a tidy up there's going to be some things in here that can't be swept much such like sorry the hatch egg so we'll cancel the sweeping on that not sure where the eggshell is going but i'm i'm fine with it to go wherever should we also, while we're about it, have a look at the printing pod? I'm not into getting another duplicate right now. Air, liquids, food, all sorts of problems. But let's uh, let's, let's get some muck root. 
It's been a couple of cycles, but they've been getting on with the gas pipe much quicker than uh, Honda has been getting on with the uh, power line over here. Been having a few toilet issues. There may have been an accident down the way. I'm trying to rearrange the every uh, everywhere to be a little bit nicer. We've got a bit of a wider area here for the hatches to feel a little bit more comfortable, but the things are just ticking over here. Hopefully we can get this rocket up and running pretty soon so we can send Honda a little bit of assistance. Don't have enough cobalt here. Okay, cool. No, no, no worries. No worries. We'll just wait for more to be delivered. Okay, 500 kilograms is the amount that is required. Probably could have guessed that. In fact, probably could have been told that down here. No, no. It must be inside the rocket platform stuff. So carbon dioxide rocket in place. Oh, wait, wait. We, we, need, we need the equivalent of a gantry, don't we? Put a little safety feature in place. If the carbon dioxide is not detected, this will turn red and that will then turn the gas pump off. We're just waiting for all the carbon dioxide to drop down. We don't we don't want to be pumping polluted oxygen through. And I think this is distance enough to save us. Chlorine could be an issue, but, but this should be fine. I wanted to change the, the rocket platform name to uh, 36C for, for rocket memes, but... Um, Turns out you, you you need someone to come along and change that errand. Wow, that's that's crazy. Change setting, yeah, that's... I didn't think that would be a thing, but that's a thing. So the carbon dioxide that's being pumped into here is getting super chilled from out here. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Anyway, the carbon di uh, so the, the rocket module has been built upon the top. Uh, we've got a few uh, settings to change here. We can, uh, in particular, put which crew in we want. But I want to have a look... At this, look, we got a little rocket, like a little interior. Now this space here needs to deal with uh, a few things. For instance, like duplicates need to sleep and such. But uh, we'll, we'll see what's going on. Uh, cargo loading incomplete. We've got no cargo. Destination is not set. Missing qualified crew. Uh, of course, we're going to have to send random randomers because he's he's the rocket pilot that that makes sense actually we'll, we'll send him over uh and then we'll just have like the aliens crew and the viewers crew yeah that might work zero calories mm. all right well I'm, I'm gonna go maybe do a little bit of research have a cup of tea think about how i want to lay things out in here of, of, of course we needed to get the pliers mod back, but not just for the peace of mind that it brings us, but, but actually, do you see this little red line over here? I've come outside of the rocket just to like do some thinking and wonder what's going on and try and sort out of plan, but we've, we've, got, a, we've got a problem. Look, it, it, it vents out into uh, carbon dioxide gas over here, so we, we need to uh, disconnect network utilities, gas pipes. I'm just going to cut it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut it right here. And I want to I wanna explain to you why. It's because of this gas here. Let's be honest, like, this is minus 44 gas here. I believe carbon dioxide uh, condenses out at somewhere about minus 30. I, I can't remember the exact number right here. It might actually be minus 60 and we've got a bit of a weird one going on, but whatever. No, well, not whatever. Let's go and have a look. Uh, minus 48. Yeah, so it must be getting cold. So look, then we got 50s down here. This is what's going on. It's temp uh, transferring the temperature uh, across. Uh, and the only way we can really say uh, stop that from happening is to get rid of all this gas. I've got a plan. I've got a plan on how we're going to do it. I'm going to grab myself a power uh, transformer over here. We're going to leave a gap because I also want to then jump the, the power over this heavy watt wire. My plan, of course, is just to dump the contents of this. What I'm going to very generously call an airlock here uh, out out back into the corridor here so hopefully hopefully it will stop gases going back out over the over the uh, the space area here we can we can just get rid of all this i mean i could probably so, could have solved this by not letting it come out of a wall until we're up actually into space but that seems like more work to me what, what, what about you talk about work another problem that we're gonna have aside from uh th this big problem we, we we've not We've not done enough exploring, so I can't look out here. Let's build a telescope to try and correct that. Uh, but the, the the second problem is if I come over here and try and select this, uh, they're like, there's no there's no rocket landing platform. Well, how, how are you going to bring a rocket with no landing pad? And you know what? It's a very good question. How are we going to bring a rocket with no landing pad? So if we come over here, we, we've got Honza cleaning away, trying to make the place nice and tidy for himself so it's beautiful to live in. We come over to the rocket and we've got... <gasps> Big problems. Uh, now, it's a bit hard to see here, but the missing resource that we have is refined metal. 800 kilograms of refined metal. Honestly, I'm not... I'm not sure, guys. I mean, we've got 300 kilograms of copper. That's not... Oh, look at all this. Look at all this iron. Okay, well, we're going to just send some iron through here somehow. 
Didn't realize we had quite that much, but that's 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 cool. That's awesome. Uh, if we just do that, some will get sent through. A random amount. Making carbon dioxide snow. Seem to have sent all of the iron across. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Well, whatever, whatever. We're gonna get a rocket platform out. We're gonna just literally put it here. I mean, this this kind of makes a bit more sense like this, right? Yeah, let's let's do that. We can't reach that, unfortunately. We're gonna have to pass this up here. And Honza, you, you gotta concentrate up here, man. Yeah, everything else is on five, apart from these sevens, which you haven't actually got to. That's fine. Let's just, uh, let's just wait and see if he gets around to these. Random Random is putting a solid effort in to get this transformer loaded up. All right, and away we go. And now hopefully all of this gas is just getting pumped out over here. Now, obviously, this means we are now pumping a lot of polluted gas and carbon dioxide and stuff like that out this way. Hopefully, this will just get tidied up by the deodoriders over here. And I'm really hoping this just all disappears now. It's definitely gone down. Oh, look at, look at that. Oh, no, no. I thought we had some actual vacuum going there, but it was just a trick of the stuff that was moving around. And so we got to watch this stuff moving around. I do this relatively often where I just kind of like kick back for a couple of cycles and watch everything go down. And uh, not much was happening for the first cycle. No, no offerings of the great gods were going on. But right now, uh, about a cycle in, as I say, almost exactly to the minute. Up at the top right, you can see that the, some of the gases are starting to tear away. Little bits of holes were appearing. And now we've got a general drop happening. I'm wondering whether this is because there's a little constriction in the flow right by the rocket there and, and like not enough can flow out to that way but when we got to that 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 little constriction that not that night neck there on the left it started to go and there was all sorts of interesting stuff happening with the caves I'm, I'm gonna call them caves the little divots in the surface of the uh, asteroid where the gas will flow back and then just kind of like stop for a bit a uh, cave and it, it almost looked like it had to pull all of the uh, all of the gases out of there before it could carry on uh, but then as it got down to the last uh, Again, gonna call it a cave. The uh, constriction on the right was starting to lose its mass as well. And then at this point, we were just losing everything uh, to the vacuum. It was really, really uh, nice to watch. But as I say, took a little bit of time. I, I just, I do have a couple of concerns though. Well, it took about two and a half cycles there. That wasn't too bad though. It looked pretty good. Looked pretty good. We got a clear way now. So I think, I think we should be able to hook this back up and let, oh. Oh, oh, of course, we need to repair that. That's fine. That's fine. But we need to think about something that I completely neglected. The telescope. It, it needs to be studied. It needs to be looked at. Uh, I don't know where to put it. <laughs> and the first time. I didn't even see him walk out. Look, the first time he walks out there, we get, we get an air leak. Thankfully, it's not quite made it all the way all the way out there. But that how to waste two cycles in one foul swoop, right? Thankfully, this uh, this gas pump definitely... Ooh, it's doing its best, doing its best to keep up. Clear clear this whole area up. Out. Ah, so I recently put this, th these deodorizers in here just to try and tidy up a little bit, but it's given us the uh, added bonus of seeing when new gases have been added to the system. That's... Uh, that's not great, actually. That's a lot of gas. Maybe we need to be pumping both chambers, right? Eventually all the polluted oxygen is going to be consumed and then the actual oxygen is going to just spread out everywhere. Quick check in with Honza. He's done all the mopping. I mean, that that's good. Still not built the rocket pad, but he's done all the mopping. I think I might have built myself my very own issue. Let's go. Let's follow a random randomers here. I have been, of course, building the telescope so that we can expand our star map and send the rockets off to much further destinations so that we can just see around. But I uh, was building the ramp, uh, building the telescope. I was trying to take advantage of uh, maybe a little exploit. Yeah, I thought so. Look, did you see that? Maybe a little exploit where uh, he can, the telescope can see past the wall. He's got like a range of vision that's, uh, well, I don't know, something, something, something like this. Uh, and so if you build a wall, he can still see all this of it. And the same on the other side. Uh, so I, I thought I could just build a little container like this and then uh, keep a, a pressurized corridor underneath. But it doesn't work. Every time the uh, the airlock opens, particularly when someone's coming along to do the job, uh, it opens the door. This becomes an invalid spot for this to, to exist. And they're like, oh, no job for me. I'll go do something else. I'm like, ah, no. So I think what I'm going to have to do is actually build another... There we go. Let's put a little roof across there. Uh, flip this door up this way and see if we can work through that. There is a way to force it. If I move random randomers over there 
And I think I can turn one of these door directions off because if I just do it straight away, look, you can see he's already started to turn around and go back. Uh, we'll just we'll just wait there like this until he, there we go, starts doing his job. All right, beautiful. And hopefully Hicks will come along and do the sandstone. It's not it's not building item of choice. Igneous or mathic? Igneous or mathic? Well, Random Randomers has pushed out the zone that we know just a little bit. Uh, oh, look, this is the one that we're studying next, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I can hope that we is, though, because we need to work our way out across this way. It's going to take a little while like this, and I'm wondering whether this roof here is causing a bit of problem. But there's not much I can do about it. We've got full view on this side, so we're just going to wait. Just going to wait. I have done a little bit of a reroute of the gases here. Uh, I want them to go down and just straight into here because I've noticed that uh, random random is when he's sat over here trying to breathe and stuff. I mean, there's 26 grams of breathable uh, gases here. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. It's quite obvious that at some point we're going to end up with a whole bunch of hydrogen stuck up in here. So I'm going to replace these two tiles here with a door and hook it up to this gas element sensor. So when we are flooded with hydrogen, we can vent it out to space. Is this... Uh, we still got, oh, it's starting to pull back. It's starting to pull back. Okay, one microgram over that side. Beautiful. And the same over this side. Nice. Okay, so I've just been watching this little yellow bar fill up. We've got one more over here. This must be working, I think, this way around, going around in a circle. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, watching for the bar to fill up again. But, of course, random randomers. Got no oxygen. He's got no... Well, he's, he's got a little bit, but not enough to survive on. It's been a few cycles, five, eight, something like that, and something's happened that I wasn't really expecting. If we come over to the star map, we, we found a new planetoid. Oh my word, yes, that is one of the things that I was like, well, no, I, was, I wasn't. I wasn't looking for it, but I'm very happy that it's turned up. Uh, and as you can see, random randomers is, oh, it's just, just been exposed, exposing all the uh, hexagons around this way, and we're getting very close to being able to fire our rocket off. Okay, there's something else I want to do just before we finish up this area over here. You can see the gas element sensor has been built and we've got ourselves an automation wire in place and some power in place. I want to build this mechanized air... No, no are you are you just gone? All right, fine. I want to build this mechanized airlock here. I want to put it down as a super high priority because I want this uh, element sensor here to detect when the place is full of hydrogen and to vent it out to space, much like what is going on here. But we seem to be dropping a bit too much stuff. Quick, someone someone get here. I just wanted some copper. There's copper everywhere down here. It's always hard to uh, trust your contractors to do the job uh, the most efficient way if every time. Uh, I'm not liking the fact that we're losing all the gas out of this area. I've been pumping all the gases that we have got from the air lock down below just to try and pump up the uh the breathability down here it's uh it's not going well and, and with this great big hole here it's going even bishop, bishop where are you why are you doing it hicks where's hicks this is, this is the problem with putting things down as like super alarm alerts it's not the best person that comes along to do the job all right beautiful beautiful that's now in place hopefully we can just uh wait and see it no is that not right have we have we missed ah look at that i thought that might be the case Honda is starving, cannot reach food, this stuff is, oh no, no, how, how bad, how bad? Okay, he's got a thousand calories, that should be alright to get him overnight, oh that's, that's a little annoying, I was trying to get other things done on the other place. Well I guess, I guess the only thing we can do is uh, send some more foodings through here, yeah let's do that. We're obviously swampy delights of the way. Let's just quickly tell everyone that we really need to do this and then turn that back off. All right, cool. And away the food goes. All right, that's beautiful. And then hopefully over here, oh, we're on still uh, this. There we go. Unrefrigerated. In he comes. Honza gets some food. All right, beautiful. That's that's great. Wasn't the way I was hoping it would be. Okay, has this last wire been put into place? No, not yet. What's up with that? Okay, Hicks comes along. I'm going to switch to the uh, material overview here, and we watch the hydrogen go out, and it gets slammed shut again afterwards. Oh, beautiful. That's going to do something simple. Mm, I can see problems here. I think, uh, we'll, we'll just wait. We'll just, uh, obviously, the ideal way of dealing with this would be to replace these two bits of wire here with a buffer gate. Yeah, let's go with a buffer. In fact, let's do that now. If we come into the automation, we go buffer gate. Let's have a look. Output to green signal. If the input is receiving a green, continues to send. Now, let's go for the filter. We want to make sure there's enough in there to worry about so the buffer would have been good but it would have vented out a whole bunch of oxygen even if the, if there was a little bit of hydrogen uh doing it with the filter there needs to be a lot of hydrogen to build up to give it a constant signal before it vents it out yeah i think that's the better way because of, of course we've got this spare gap at the top here for for people to sit under so it should be fine 
Well, it's a shame we needed to set up the telescope. It's definitely put my space program back just a little bit. I think next time we are going to be sending random randomers. We're going to change the crew. We're going to put him on in there. We do, of course, need to build an oxygen system, maybe some food. Oh, look, we've got a lot of space up here where we can build stuff. Yeah, I'll think, I'll think longer and hard on that because I don't know what we need to take. A toilet? We need a toilet. Something like that. But I will see you next time when we're going to do all of that because, of course, our man Hicks over... Uh, no, 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 this is not Hicks. This is Honza over here has built his rocket platform as well so we can start shipping um, duplicates and materials between the two but I'll see you then when we're gonna do that bye